Thank you. My name is Gershon Silbert. I'm the CEO of VivoText, and I'm not going to read your mind. Uh, we are developing a new generation of the technology that converts written text into spoken text, which is called text-to-speech, or TTS for short. Uh, our, the essence of our business is to have expressivity in the delivery of the voice. The market is telling us that when text is converted into voice and delivered by computers or handheld devices, it has to sound as real as, real, as, as, as regular voices. Uh, now, why, does, why, do, why do we need an, a new generation of text-to-speech? Because the market is telling us that it's not being served by current technology. And the best way to experience it is by listening to examples. No. First, uh, the, uh, the state of the art from AT&T. Ask not what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. That's the state of the art. Now our lively voice. Ask not what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. That extra quality you hear in our voice, it's what we call expressiveness. And that is what the market really wants. Now you may wonder what makes us uh, come up with that. Well, it has to do with the unique perspective or the relationship between speech delivery and music performance. And that's something I know quite a bit about, having been a concert pianist earlier in my career. Now let's dig in a little bit into that expressive business. I mean, this particular application we created for a global game company, and they requested that we create for them a voice of a little girl. So we insert the text and listen to it. That pink balloon was so special. I wanted to have a balloon just like that one, just for me. And now for comparison, the competition. That pink balloon was so special. I wanted to have a balloon just like that one, just for me. Okay, as you can hear, you can understand what it says, but it doesn't have real expression. Now, uh, we have also, on top of it, capabilities of also editing and, and adding even more expression to it for people who want to do it in the, the creative art departments. So I'm going to demonstrate it by making certain changes of the parameters. Hold on, let's see how many things are changing. Okay, now we're going to hear a version that's a lot more excited. That pink balloon was so special. I wanted to have a balloon just like that one, just for me. And now sort of a melancholy, wistful sort of expression. That pink balloon was so special. I wanted to have a balloon just like that one, just for me. Now, there is no technology on the market that is capable of doing those things. We are focusing on two major markets, the entertainment market and the e-books market, especially as they relate to the mobile devices and the web. Uh, in conclusion, I would like to leave you with one thought, that we are living in a digital age and smartphones and tablets are coming of age and are converging with digital content. In that convergence, Text-to-speech is essential, but it's important to remember that unless text-to-speech actually sounds like real human speech, it's not going to be being used. And that's where we come in. We are going to make sure that everywhere the text-to-speech can be used, it's being used. Thank you.